Hey, Chris here. Let's talk about distortion and how to find its cause and remove it. So sometimes when you're producing audio or even recording audio, you'll hear distortion, like it's like a scratchiness, it's nasty distortion. And as a person who's doing the recording or doing the post-production, you have to find out where that distortion's coming from and then remove it or or not cause it is a better way to say it. So a couple interesting or a couple vital points here is that number one, you should know your entire signal flow. When you're recording audio, you have to, in your mind, uh, know and understand where the signal's going. Okay, it's going through this mic, it's flowing into my interface, My then from my interface, it's going into my computer, and then in my computer, it's being recorded in that app and all this stuff, right? You, you have to know where your signal's going because if you hear distortion, then you need to check each uh, phase of, check each place that the audio is going through to see which where it's distorting, right? So I'll just tell you right off the bat, mostly distortion happens with the microphone preamp. So as you probably know, you need to plug every microphone into a preamp to, I mean, unless it's a USB microphone, right? If it's an XLR microphone, you need to plug it into a preamp to crank up the microphone level to line level. Preamps are probably 90 or 95% of the time distortion is going to come from the preamp being turned up too much. So first place to check is always the preamp. And I want to tell you an interesting story. I was at, uh, I think it was PodFest in Orlando, either last year or the year before. And I was hanging out with my good friend, Michael Helms, who does the Location Sound podcast. So check out the Location Sound podcast. We were in a room listening to a presentation and the speaker, I, I don't know, I think they probably had a lavalier microphone or maybe they had a, a podium with a microphone. Either way, the audio was distorting. It wasn't the worst distortion ever, but it was considerable. And I told, I think there was the sound guy or whatever, and I think we told him, hey, the mic's distorting. And the sound person lowered the fader on the channel where the microphone was coming in. So lowered the fader so the the volume got lower but the distortion was still there because the distortion wasn't happening on the fader it was happening before that on the preamp so that's a good example of someone who didn't fix the problem they thought they fixed it they pulled down the fader but that didn't fix it because that person didn't understand where the distortion was coming from it was coming from the preamp so you would need to turn down the preamp to avoid the distortion. And then the fader, if you need more gain, you can push the fader up more, right? So that was an interesting, that was an interesting real world story. So anyway, that's the little tip for today. Don't forget uh, the podcast engineering show. That's my podcast, the daily goodies you can sign up for to receive them two or three times a week in your email at podcastengineeringschool.com. And that's also where the main program is, where I teach people how to become professional podcast producers and engineers and make a great living from home. So if, if you know anybody who wants a career, want to learn how to produce podcasts professionally and develop a, a long, profitable career, tell them about Podcast Engineering School. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.